relationship between us and the United States. And it was an agreement by the president that this should happen and is happening. We've had more contact with the United States decision makers in the last nine months than we've had in the last nine years. And I think it's all for the good. Prime Minister extended the invitation uh, for us as a congressional delegation uh, to participate, and we enthusiastically accepted because of our respect uh, for your Prime Minister, our respect for the people of Trinidad and Tobago, and for our respect uh, for the CARICOM nations and leaders. And we wanted to acknowledge and celebrate and mark this occasion, the 50th anniversary of this incredibly important multilateral organization and also send a clear signal that we look forward to working closely together. I want to just yield briefly uh, to the chairman of the Congressional Black Caucus, Congressman Stephen Horsford, uh, who is here in that capacity but also has very close familial ties to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. And it was a special trip for him and a special thing for him to be part of this delegation. Thank you, Mr. Leader. And as uh, you indicated in response to the question, the invitation was made uh, directly to Leader Jeffries in his capacity um, as, as a Democratic leader of the House. Uh, an invitation was made to me as the chair of the Black Caucus. Um, and several weeks ago, the Congressional Black Caucus led a meeting with Secretary Blinken on a host of issues, including some of the priorities around the Caribbean. Um, and during that meeting, uh, we pressed the administration to also have a, a, a big presence here at the 50th anniversary, one, to follow up on the work that Vice President Harris has been leading around Caribbean initiatives and her the $100 million announcement that was made in the Bahamas, uh, as well as the work that has been done uh, with President Biden and others um, at the Summit uh, of the Americas in Los Angeles. And I just want to commend Prime Minister Rally and all of the leaders and heads of state from CARICOM because this is about a partnership. And what you emphasized, Prime Minister, is there are, there's a big percentage of Caribbean people who are now our constituents living in the United States. So it's incumbent upon us to also know what the regional needs are here because those constituents care deeply about all the issues that we discussed during this trip. Thank you very, thank you very much.